Hello you guys, it is 1.36 p.m. Sunday, November 4th, 2018. Um, okay, I just have some big news real quick. Um, this is not anything makeup related or anything. I mean, there is some makeup related news in here. Um, and that news is I actually just did a video of me doing my makeup with my mom's makeup because um, I saw this challenge going around on YouTube and I know it's kind of old and stuff but I kind of wanted to be in part of it so I asked her and she said yeah and I know it doesn't look really right but I have to wear it like this for the whole day that's part of the challenge uh, her lipstick will probably come off because covergirl lipstick I don't really think it does very good but um, no offense to them I do love covergirl yeah there's a couple of shades I still like I just don't think it'll stay on all day especially when I'm eating um, but also, um, <laughs> I'm getting a new iPhone XR, and it's going to be red, 64 gigabyte. It will be coming in the mail sometime this week. I do not know that, but I will definitely get a video of it. I was going to say definitely get a video of me unboxing it, but I can't promise that because I might get so excited I might forget. Um... So, yeah, you know, but um, I will be keeping this one to film YouTube videos with. This is my 6S Plus that my sister gave me a couple months ago in exchange for an iPod Touch. The one I have on the tripod now is one that we still owe money on, so we're going to trade this one in at AT&T after we get it, like, backed up and all that junk. If we can, um, I might just go ahead and factory reset it. I really don't know, but... I'm gonna wait and see when the phone comes because I'm I'm really excited about this. I honestly have not gotten a new phone in three years. I mean, this is technically new. It's in great condition. You see, the screen's not cracked. The home button's not cracked. Do you see any cracks on that home button? The AT&T one that I have has a crack on it. This is an AT&T phone, but I'm just saying. Hold on, I'm replying to a text real quick, but, um, actually, that's all the news, so, oh, he, uh, yeah, I did tell you about the makeup challenge, but I did not tell you that it's actually had to be split into two parts because it got so long, I couldn't upload it all in one setting. I mean, I could probably could have. I might try to merge the videos together and do that, and I know that this looks really dark for me, but this is how I'm going to have to look the rest of the day. See how much darker my mom is compared to me? This is her foundation, concealer, um, and stuff like that. The only thing that's not hers is the eyeshadow. I used my Miss Rose palette because uh, she didn't have a lot of eyeshadow. I'm trying to show you. Well, the logo's worn off, but she don't have a lot of eyeshadow, so I decided to use one that I never hardly use. And um, that was part of the challenge. I know it's kind of cheating, but in the way it's kind of not because I did use her black eyeshadow. Um... Yeah, and I did use everything else, including, like I said, her brushes, which they are really dirty, so I might do her a favor one night and wash them up for her because they are really dirty. It looks like they have never been washed, and that's not good for them. Uh, here's a quick tip real quick. Um, even if your makeup brushes are cheap or high-end, they get filthy and they start to fall apart. So... A uh, good tip out there to anyone out there who is trying to clean their brushes but cannot afford to buy the cleaner. Take like, um, sorry, one second here, I'm showing you. The O5. Something like this. I, I've tried this shampoo on my hair once. I didn't like it, so I've decided to keep it for my brushes. And I got rid of the conditioner. It smells really good, though. But take the O5 or... Maybe even Suave, uh, which this is the one I do use on my hair. And you can, like, use these to clean them, uh, especially if you wash them under your sink with hot water running on them or warm water, about as hot as you can, or about as hot as you can stand it. Um, that's how you clean them. That's how I clean mine all the time. Uh, I'm going to have to clean my new ones because I already tried a makeup challenge earlier, but I failed. And uh, the makeup challenge was actually use something that is way too dark for you, but it failed really bad. It failed worse than this. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to 
stick with this look today. It's not like we're going anywhere anyways, I don't think. But if we do, we will definitely want to be seen. And I gotta spread this around a little bit because that's gonna drive me crazy. I know this is cheating using my own brush, but I don't care. There are no rules when it comes to makeup, really, so. Okay, because on my forehead is her foundation and powder, which she had a very expensive powder that I could never afford. And you see how dark that became? That's not good. I gotta wash it up again, but okay. Um, it was the Bare Minerals powder. It's a loose leaf one like my NYX Cosmetics powder is, and uh, it was giving me hard time about coming out as well. So I thought my NYX powder was empty, but looking at the bottom of it, it looks like it was brand new, almost. Like there was a lot of powder in it, so I might just have to continuously tap it. And if you watch the video, you'll hear me struggling to um, get it out. And I will link the um, links to both videos in the description box down below. So um, thank you for watching. The time is now 1.43 p.m. So bye.